Midjourney just released a new update and it's gonna be incredibly helpful in allowing you to explore the latent space of visual styles. It's called Style Random. And today, I'm not only gonna show you exactly how to use this, but I'm also gonna show you some awesome and helpful tips you'll definitely wanna try and use for yourself, specifically when trying this new update, Style Random. So what this does is expand or explode your prompt into a whole new array of new and random style directions. So the first thing we'll do is I'll first show you exactly how this works. We'll try it out and then I'll give you some helpful tips and pointers you'll want to use. Make sure to check the links in the description for tons of prompts. But then after that, I'm going to take you over here to my photorealistic prompts ebook. And what we'll do is I'll go through here and I'll actually use some of these images as a tool to generate something similar. And then I'll show you how to use some of these images that you may find in other places to be able to continue using this SREF command going forward and then save it to get consistent images once you find one that really works for you. The other place we'll go to discover new prompts and very unique looking images will be over here in my mega prompts database. Now I know I talk about this in most of my videos, but I just want to reiterate that this product right here gets new prompts added to it every single day. And so the goal is to always help you have new ideas, new prompts, especially with new updates to help you take full advantage of all the new features being released and we all know everything is moving so fast. So the first prompt we're going to use, I actually have been getting some very awesome results and I actually got this prompt over here on this Twitter, I mean X account. So kudos and thank you to Nick St. Pierre. That's where I was able to find this prompt. It's simple, but it does do a very good job with this new update. But then the important thing is this new command dash dash S R E F and then the word random. This is important and I'll show you why right now. Okay, so here we are now over here in Midjourney, the Discord server. So I did do this prompt earlier today and then look at the image I got. These are pretty phenomenal. However, now utilizing the same prompt, I was able to get this image right here using this new command. It's pretty fascinating and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So you want to make sure at the very bottom, you're going to do imagine just like you always do. Now paste that prompt in. Then you want to start typing your prompt. So I'll say, Kanye eating pizza. I'm going to make my aspect ratio 16.9 for this one. And then again, I'll do style raw. And now for the new update, dash dash S R E F. Now, if you hit enter, it's not going to work. You need to add one more layer. That's where you're going to just type in the word, the actual word random. Okay. So what that tells Midjourney is that I want to explode my prompt up a little bit. I want to get just a complete random sort of image. Maybe my creative juices aren't flowing as much today. Let's just fully depend upon Midjourney. Okay. So for that, let's see the first option that we get once we select generate. So after we generate this image of Kanye eating pizza and then try a few more, the next thing we're going to do is I want to show you how to be able to maintain image consistency moving forward. That's where this this next step is going to come into play right after we go back to Midjourney to see what sort of image we got. Okay, now check this out. This is pretty cool. So again, we just gave Midjourney full control and then I got this right here. Now, it does help that I used Style Raw because it's going to help guide the sort of image that we're looking for. But let's do this one more time without using that Style Raw. So I'm going to do Imagine again and I'm going to say Kanye eating pizza and I'll still maintain the same aspect ratio of that 16.9. No Style Raw and then I'll just do S R E F and then again, random right after. Okay, perfect. So the first one didn't work out. I got an invalid parameter because right after my aspect ratio, I accidentally put a dot. Okay, now look at this one right here. This is pretty cool. So I didn't use style raw. I just did completely random. And now here he is eating the pizza. Not bad. I'm going to do this a few more times using random each and every time. And then we'll go back and I'll show you all of the different variety of images that we got. Then I'll show you how to maintain consistency using that same image going forward. Okay, so now that we have a few images to take a look at, look at these right here. So again, here's the first one right here that you saw earlier. Pretty cool. Now as we scroll down, we also have this one. And then this one right here, it did a very good job, all using the same exact prompt every single time. Now the only thing I did different with this one right here was I just added stylized 250 and then version 6.0, but I still utilize that SREF random command. And now going down here, I just added another simple keyword. Same prompt, Kanye eating pizza, 
ethereal style gradient colors and now look at this pretty fascinating and then again one more time down here at the bottom this was done with just the same exact prompt nothing else changed just dash dash s-r-e-f random so you could look at the difference between this very last one here there is the actual prompt right just three simple words kanye eating pizza and again back here at the top the very first one kanye eating pizza nothing has changed but just simply using this s-r-e-f random we're gonna go from images that look like this all the way down to images that look like this. So this is gonna allow you to get, like I said, an explosion of different random ideas. And you could do this over and over again. So check this out. Here is something unique I wanna show you. So over here in the announcement section on Midjourney's Discord, look at this right here. It says, you can now type SREF random after your prompts and get totally random styles, okay? For example, below this post are 64 runs of Imagine a Field of Flowers SREF random. So they did this 64 different times and then here's the thing we're gonna do next if you end up liking something you find use dash dash s-r-e-f with then the url attached right after it i'll show you exactly how to do that in a second again same exact prompt every single time 64 times it was ran but look at all these different random images so complete randomness every single time now the next part is what happens when you find a style of image you want to continue using using over and over again moving forward. And that's gonna be pretty simple. So let's just say for an example, I like this style right here. How about the one in the top right hand corner? The first thing I'll do is I'll upscale that one, okay? I'll also go up to one more and I'm gonna upscale one of these as well right here. So I have two images upscaled. Now this is gonna make it a little bit easier for me because the importance of this is now you want a URL for an individual image. So with that, on the right hand side, I'll first click on this first one right here. I'm going to open up in my browser and now I'm just going to simply copy the URL at the very top that this image is assigned to. Once it's copied, now let's head back over to Midjourney. So now what I'll come in here, I'll still do the imagine command. I'll just type in my prompt Kanye eating pizza okay just like that then again s-r-e-f but then directly after typing in s-r-e-f now what you want to do is just paste in that url quite simply just like this so if you're familiar with the cref command the c-r-e-f command you're doing the same thing so s-r-e-f and then paste in that URL. Let's also do it one more time with this one. While this is thinking, I'm gonna open up this one and then copy and paste this URL as well. Okay, now while the other one is thinking, look what we got with these images right here. I mean, this is fascinating. Again, I didn't use the same aspect ratio because I just wanted to see if it would generate the same sort of look and feel, and it did a phenomenal job. Now, moving forward, whenever I use that SREF command with the URL, with this specific URL, every single time, every image I get will look exactly like this one. So watch this. Let's just do one more thing. I'm going to type in imagine. Now, instead of Kanye eating pizza, I'm going to say panda bear eating pizza. Same thing, S-R-E-F. And now paste in that same URL. So now I should get an image that instead of Kanye eating pizza, it's going to be a panda bear eating pizza. But the image should look like this one that you're looking at right now. So while that one is thinking, let's look at the other one we did just a second ago. Remember, we came up here and I upscaled this one. I want my next image to look like this again and as I scroll down look at this beautiful it did exactly what I was wanting to do so this is going to work perfectly once you have an image you like copy the URL consistency across the board every single time now let me scroll back down and finally here is the one with our panda eating pizza again it looks exactly the way it's intended to. Okay, now that you know how to use this new command, new feature in Midjourney, now let me show you some cool little tips and tricks to really get creative and find the exact image that you're looking for. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do here is I have my ebook opened up right here. Now this ebook is gonna contain over 255 pages of the best prompt generators and prompts, specifically for cinematic and documentary style, animated style, and photorealistic style images and prompts. And so let's just say for an example, I'm on this page right here. I really like these shoes and I want to have something that can duplicate this. So all you have to do is basically you can come over here and you could take a screenshot of every image. I'm going to do it right here at the bottom left of this neon Adidas shoe. Okay. There's my screenshot. It's now saved to 
my desktop. Now, what I'll do next, we can do one or two things. Again, you can come in mid-journey and use that describe command, okay? And select image, and now that image that I just took a screenshot of, I'm now gonna click and drag over here into that window. Now I selected enter in my prompt box, and you can see it says mid-journey bot is thinking. Now that it's done, it's now gonna provide me with the actual prompts that were used to generate this image. So moving forward, if I wanna generate images similar to this one right here, it's never been easier when you use the mid-journey describe command. And I have a video about this. If you haven't seen this video, I highly recommend you also check this one out as well. But now I wanna demonstrate another way you could do the same exact thing, but this time using ChatGPT. So now that I'm in Chat. GPT, the first thing you want to do if you have access to it, you need to be able to use version 4. The reason why is because we're going to be attaching an image. And so for that, at the bottom left hand corner, select that attachment button. Okay? Now, after my documents folder appeared, I selected that same image of that neon Adidas shoe. From here, now I'll simply say what prompt was used to create an image like this one. Okay? Hit enter. Give ChatGPT a couple seconds. It's going to provide a prompt that should generate an image similar to this one right here. You can also do the same thing, especially if you have this Mega Prompts database or even if you find an image from like Google Image search results. But you could do the same thing where like you could open up an image right here. If I click on the actual image and it expands just like this, down here in the bottom right hand corner, there's a blue download button. If you press that button, it will download any image I have in this mega prompts database. So any image that I have in this whole entire database, you can use for yourself over and over again, use the describe command or even use chat GPT and keep generating duplicated images of all of the hundreds of prompts and images I have specifically for AI art. But now let's go back over to mid journey. So we have four prompts it's going to give us, but here's what I love to do down below this image. Do you see where it says imagine all? I could select any of these numbers right here. If I select number one, it's going to generate the prompt up here from number one. Let's just go ahead and do imagine all because I want to see what all four of these can be generated of. And it says four out of your four jobs are being processed. Okay, perfect. Let's head back over to chat GPT. And then again, here is the prompt it gave me specific for this image right here. And oh my gosh, look at what a phenomenal job Midjourney did on this first one right here. This is incredible. To be honest with you, uh, this is probably the best neon Adidas shoe I have gotten so far. And then look at these varieties. Oh man, these are incredible. Look at these images we have. I love each and every one of these. God, these stand out so good. This might be one of my new favorite prompts. The key words that you get are gonna be fantastic. And how about this bottom right hand one right here? Let's go ahead and upscale number four. Okay, now I have a URL that I can use for this one. Look at this. This is fascinating. Now, the next step, let's copy this URL. Now, watch this. Now, type in Kanye eating pizza. Okay, I'm going to do aspect ratio 16.9 again. And then again, hit that dash dash S-R-E-F. Now, paste in that URL of this shoe. So now, I'm going to get an image that looks and resembles that neon Adidas shoe. But now, this time, it's going to be Kanye West eating pizza. And to be quite honest, I have no idea what this is going to turn out for us. Wow. Okay, now look at this one. This is amazing. I love the way these turned out. Incredible. Let me open up in browser and make it bigger. Look at these images right here. All of them look incredible. And I think I'm going to go ahead and upscale probably all of them. I don't know about you, sometimes I get writer's block and I can't come up with some very unique keywords, specifically if I want to get images that are going to be uniquely and creatively generated like the ones that we just discovered. But try this out for yourself and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.